hi my loves welcome back to the stars cartel channel if you don't know i am star girl this little hair is just anywho the message i heard is do i have to the scripture comes from isaiah 10 and 32 even today he will help halt at nob he will shake his fist at mount of daughter zion the hill of jerusalem behold the lord the lord of hosts Hop, lops off the bowls with terrible violence. The tall of stature are filled, and the lofty ones brought low. The forest thickets are filled with the axe, and Lebanon in its splendor falls. So here's the message, okay? Even as I'm reading this, like, I just feel my voice is shaking and being held back. Somebody... God has ordered you to do something. He has ordained you for this. He has called you for this. And you don't want to. You don't want to. You don't want to. You don't want to. You don't. You feel scared. And, you know, I feel like this is for someone you are scared to, like, you you are um preaching the word of god like i just feel like that's what you're preaching the word of god god has called you to be a preacher god has called you to be a pastor just when i said ordained i meant to say anointed god has ordained you god wants you to be a pastor he wants you to be a preacher he has called you and you are scared and i just feel like for someone you are scared because there are people that would rather see you doing evil than to be a pastor they would prefer for your profession to be you doing anything else but that anything else for that they are going to come to you with all kinds of bright ideas of what else you could possibly do and maybe you could do this and if you think about it you could do that and we'll help you do this god said uh-uh Every single person that is coming to you with this nonsense, he is seeking judgment upon them. Because he said what he said and he mean what he said. He said he wants you to be a pastor of his word. He wants you to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ. He has called you for this. He has called. They can be mad all they want to. Too bad. He called you for this. They are no like, and they are not working. They are not operating out of the Holy Spirit when they come to you and they tell you they don't think it's a good idea for you to be a pastor. They are not operating out of the Holy Spirit when they come to you and they tell you that you heard wrong when God called you to be a pastor or a preacher or a prophet or whatever it is that he called you to be. Baby, God said, no, they're not. They are operating from the pits of hell. They are operating from Satan himself. That's who they're operating out of. They're not operating out of God. God would not come to you or come to anybody and tell them to come to you and tell you, you should stop pe uh, preaching. You should stop prophesying and you should go and work somewhere else, anywhere else. They will prefer for you to work at, um, oh Lord, a club. Okay. One of the, the, the dancing club, they, they will prefer to see you sliding around a pole than they would than to see you preaching the word of God. Oh no, they would prefer, they will prefer for you to do anything but that anything but that God says they are not operating out of his spirit. When they come to you and tell you, you need to find something else to do. They are not operating out of his spirit when they come to you and tell you that that is not for you. They are not operating out of his spirit at all. And if you would just listen to what they are saying, you would realize they are not operating out of his spirit. They are operating uh, uh, out of the Satan. They, they on demon time. They are running on demon time. They are running on demon time. And the evil within them cannot stand the God that is in you. The evil that lives and dwells inside of them is bothered by the fact that God called you. It is bothered by the fact that you turned your back on whatever kind of sin you used to partake in. It is bothered by the fact that you are not interested in living a sinful life. It is bothered by the fact that you have slithered. Like, I just feel like this is somebody every time um, a plan has been made for you to go down a rabbit hole of the wrong life, 
the wrong path, God pulled you out of that four four four. As I said that, God said He pulled you out every time. Every time He made a way out of no way for you to get away from that. Every time you look around you, you look at yourself and you look at your life today, and you are astonished that you did not fall into a trap. It makes no sense. God said He's the one that saved you, and He saved you for a time such as this. He say He saved you for a time just like this. This right here, this moment, this very moment is what he saved you for god said this is this is always meant to be it was always meant to be this is not something you just woke up one day and all of a sudden no this was always meant to be god said if you look back upon your life you will see how time and time again he pulled you away from situations that were going to lead you the wrong way God says he has always meant for this to be. This is this is what is it's meant to be. It's meant to be. It's meant to be. It's meant to be. God said every single person that comes against you trying to tear you down and trying to take you away from what he said you are going to be, they will receive his wrath. That's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.